Question, 11. You approach this sign. What should you expect ahead? A. A railroad crossing. B. A hospital. C. An intersection. C. An intersection. Crossroad or intersection. A road crosses the main highway ahead. Look in all directions for other vehicles entering, leaving, or crossing the highway. Question 12. A traffic signal with a yellow arrow means A. The red arrow signal is about to appear. B. A protected turning period will begin. C. The protected turning period is ending. C. The protected turning period is ending. A yellow arrow means the protected turning period is ending. Be prepared to obey the next signal, which could be the green or red light or the red arrow. Question 13 You approach an intersection with a green light. Cross traffic is blocking the intersection. What should you do? A. Enter the intersection and use your horn to clear the way. B. Not enter the intersection. C. Carefully enter the intersection and drive around vehicles in your path. B. Not enter the intersection. Even if you have the green light, do not start across the intersection, if there are vehicles blocking your way. Question 14 Which of the following vehicles must always stop before crossing railroad tracks? A. A motorcycle B. A truck with hazardous load C. A passenger car with young children B. A truck with hazardous load Watch for vehicles that must always stop before they cross train tracks. These vehicles include buses, school buses, and trucks transporting hazardous loads. Remember, if you are following this type of vehicle you should slow down early, allow plenty of room, and be prepared to stop. Question 15 If your car starts to skid on a wet road, you should A. Slow down by pumping the brakes quickly and firmly. B. Ease your foot off the accelerator, gas, pedal. C. Accelerate to get past the slippery section more quickly. B. Ease your foot off the accelerator, gas, pedal. If you start to skid ease off the gas pedal, stop braking, and turn the steering wheel in the direction of the skid. If your rear wheels start going to the right, turn your front wheels to the right. Steering into a skid is the same as steering in the direction you want to go, or simply steering down the road. Question 16 One major effect of drinking alcohol is that your A. Field of vision improves B. Reaction time shortens C. Judgment gets impaired C. Judgment gets impaired Alcohol impairs your judgment. Impaired judgment affects how you react to sounds and what you see. Good judgment is needed for safe driving. Question 17 
you are driving on a road with few streetlights on a clear night. If you cannot see well with your low beam headlights, which of these actions would help? A. Turning on your vehicle's parking lights. B. Adjusting your instrument lights so they are brighter. C. Using your high beams. C. Using your high beams. Use your high beams whenever there are no oncoming vehicles. High beams let you see twice as far as low beams. It is important to use high beams on unfamiliar roads, in construction areas, or where there may be people along the side of the road. Dim your lights when necessary. Question 18 You must notify Department of Motor Vehicles within five days if you A. Are cited for a traffic violation. B. Sell or transfer ownership of your car. C. Paint your car in a different color. B. Sell or transfer ownership of your car. When you sell or transfer a vehicle, you must report it to DMV within 5 days. Note, the time limit is different if you are a buyer or a seller. Question 19. If you need to use arm signals, how would you signal a right turn? A. Extend left arm and move it up and down. B. Extend left arm horizontally. C. Extend left arm, with elbow bent upward. C. Extend left arm, with elbow bent upward. Right turn, left arm extended, with elbow bent upward, at about a 90 degree angle. Question 20. If you are involved in a collision you must always a. Stand behind your vehicle to warn others. b. Stop at the scene. c. Move injured people from traffic lanes. b. Stop at the scene. If you are involved in a crash you must stop, regardless of the extent of damage. 